Chat, I thought we could do something a little different today because I have been slacking on stretching out my ankle. I figured I need to start using my standing desk. I bought this desk and I never actually ended up using the standing feature. I thought for Hacker Replay today, we can stand a little. Especially because I don't really have to do too much. We're going to start with... Which match was this? Oh, wait, I need to pull up the file so I actually have exactly what they said. First match for today. I'll wait to see if it actually, you know, happens and then we'll confirm after. But in this match, we have Visual M, who is Frost, who is accusing Icarus, uh, dot, dash, dot, dash, dash, and Blueberry, underscore, dash, underscore, dash, dash, of cheating. And then there is a little extra something that we'll look at after we confirm whether they're cheating or not. I'm pointing something out quickly. This is, I believe, ranked. And I know it's in diamond because one of them had a diamond background. And they electrified the hookah walls. Am I crazy? It seems dumb. Uh, chairs on the camera. This one? Yeah. And then thanks for sub oh rep. I feel like if they have the dot dashes and stuff, there's less of a chance of cheating since that is a pretty common rank star thing. But who knows? Going for a typical clear below. As a reaction. Probably heard the lesion just sprinting full force at him. Smoke doesn't seem too concerned. Smoke is dead. Icarus killed him. Neither of them have drone, by the way, so I don't know how they know where everyone is. Or th right, that one that makes sense, but this one, I don't know how they know. I saw someone hop on drones. Just kidding, that's just showing the outline of the drone. Maybe he was just expecting anyone to be holding that. I thought we just saw him aiming at a zombie he's aiming at the camera. Cap can ban also Diamond Lobby. Icarus died. Oh, now we got this goddamn... This is the worst bug ever. If you hit a lesion mine, the replay is just bugged to shit. I don't know... He was aiming at vase. I think he killed someone, so maybe he just expected him at vase, but he aimed to crouch level. Okay, he didn't expect Oryx. Wait. Oh, I was watching the wrong person. I was watching Buck. I'm so dumb. I thought I had clicked on Bo or Blueberry, but I clicked on Bones Mick. So ignore everything I said earlier about the uh, the buck running in and dying. We're going to watch Fuse from the beginning. Must have clicked a little bit too far down. He just runs right in. He hasn't droned a single thing. I know it's... Actually, no, this is ranked. This isn't even standard. Okay, and then Frost. Okay, Frost did shoot at the Amaru. So there is reason to believe that Amaru could call out in voice chat and say, hey, someone's inside of Sunrise. It just seems weird that he's always willing to go for like, or not always, it's only been two rounds, but he keeps going for these weird things that could get him killed, but he doesn't care because I guess maybe he knows no one's there. Thanks for Kepley. Yeah. Now we're almost caught up to where we were before. I don't know where Oryx is, but he doesn't seem too con- oh, Oryx is right behind him. Oh, 
orcs kill him. Okay, he doesn't realize orcs behind him. Granted, if you have walls, you wouldn't be able to see behind you anyways, so... Huge play by the Oryx. I could be wrong. We can hide the HUD just to see. I didn't see smoke there, but obviously they can see each other because smoke killed Yana. Where is he seeing? I like, I don't, I don't, I don't think I saw him. No. Okay, like saw like the tip of his headgear for like maybe a millisecond. Saw like his left pinky and then free fires perfectly, but then smoke. Just shoots. Oh. I know replay is buggy. We can't just assume they're cheating off of that. But that's weird. I'm more suspicious of Icarus. But now that's also kind of suspicious. He ran in with, I believe, zero intel. I see Ash is on drones. Let's just check what Ash is seeing. No, nope, Ash is on the other side of the map. He jumps in. And then just holds where someone happens to be pushing. Waiting perfectly for them. Kills them. And then I was just ro rotating around. Again, not really concerned about how anyone could be anywhere because they have zero intel. Just walk around like he owns the place. the second time now where the uh, Icarus guy has like pre-aimed someone around a corner that I don't think he should know but hold on let's, let's rewind a bit let's see I mean it's not unreasonable to assume that if you push all the way through here which by the way like I guess just confident that they don't have control of this just aim at him through the wall it pushes all the way through it's not crazy to be like okay you know, we have complete sight control, we saw them at 90, someone might be holding this. That's not ludicrous. But Doc's also slow walking, and then Maverick just like, is ready for him. I'm fairly suspicious of Icarus. Maverick has one bullet, by the way. Did that before fully reloading. Okay, no, he's walling. He's he's following him. No, he's walling. He's walling. He has to be. He sucks. But like right? Without a doubt. Like he was following him and constantly peeking wherever he was about to go and like adjusting his aim. Or maybe he was just rocking the varsity gaming term, which a lot of people confuse with cheats because it makes you so good at Siege. And if you want the term too, all you gotta do is sub to my Twitch channel. It's 25% off throughout September or free with Prime. There's no way that wasn't cheating. Okay, we'll go to overtime because apparently it becomes a lot more obvious in overtime for Blueberry. I'm already suspicious of Blueberry because he's when he was fused, he walked and held the kitchen angle for no reason. But apparently it is much more obvious in overtime. Yeah, okay, he's cheating. Alright, so... I haven't confirmed this yet, because I try not to, like, spoil anything. 
the Icarus guy, who was the Maverick when we found him to be suspicious, has allegedly been cheating since Operation North Star, which was like two years ago. He, get, he did get Diamond in Operation North Star with a 1.84 KD, but stopped playing for like a year and a half, came back, played a little bit of Dread Factor, sucked. They lost all three matches in Dread Factor. Had a negative KD and then comes back with a 3.28 KD. At the very least, they did cheat in high caliber. Probably cheated in these two seasons too. Uh, this is a new account, level 69, has not played before, so probably just got his friend to hop on with him and start cheating, or they bought a new account and started cheating on that one. But both obviously cheating. They should be banned. Will they be banned? Probably not. That's the first match done. Um, moving on to match number two, which is Fortress. In this match, we have Deep, who actually just subbed. Uh, who's accusing Brian 6232023. I assume that's not a streamer mode name because it's 2023. So it should be easy to find them after. It's also standard, so I assume this is going to be a pretty obvious cheater. Yes, it is going to be an obvious cheater. Oh my god, he sucks. He actually almost died from the Blackbeard as well. He somehow in a 1v1, isolated 1v1, took 90 damage. 90% damage. Probably, oh, he did not actually die to the orcs. Thank you. How'd this go to round seven? Oh no, went to round six. I say this guy's not holding back. Like very much not holding back. He's even trying to flank the vigil. He's actually trying to get his attention so that he's like, oh I didn't follow you. to watch anymore. Brian. Uh, level 26. Quick play. Has a 2.54 KD. 31 matches. Has not been banned. They don't track uh, headshots and stuff anymore, so we don't know that, but uh, probably trying to get this account up to level 50 to either sell it or start playing ranked, but very rarely do they actually cheat on under level 50 accounts. Okay, that's match number two done. Also, before we go into match number three, someone in chat said, would an IP ban stop them from doing the new account thing? IP bans are probably the worst type of bans you could ever implement in any game. Um, it does get suggested all the time. I actually have people on TikTok, YouTube comments, everything, who are always just like, they should just IP ban people. IP bans don't work. You reset your modem, you, um, or like, let's say you're on a public connection, like let's say you're at university and you plug into like the systems, why, or I, or, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and then you cheat, the entire university then gets banned from the servers. IP bans don't do anything. They are not at all worth it and not at all a good solution. Also, you could easily just use a VPN every single time you want to play, and then you'd have a different IP every single time. There are so many hundreds of ways around an IP ban it is the worst thing they can do. But anyways, moving on to the next match, match number three, Villa. In this match, we have... Ajax the Goat, who is accusing Aiton the Twitch. Oh, the round's already half over. Slightly concerning. He just followed the Azami through the wall. Guys, I think this might be an obvious match again. I tried to not choose too many obvious matches, but I think we're going to just get a lot of them. Cheaters have been running absolutely rampant this season with zero repercussions. I think there have been very few ban waves, which is just... Terrible. Oh, he knows. He knows. Dies to a thorn gadget. Bro, bro is cheating. 
and he just died to a thorn gadget. We're just gonna skip to the last round. I want to see who wins. Unfortunately, the cheater does win, and no one on his team team kills him. Maybe it wasn't that obvious that they would team kill. He's only eight and four. I went way farther than I was supposed to. Wait, he's dead? He's the first one dead this round. How do you lose this? Oh, they're already looking at him. Well, that cheater sucks. He's eight and five. A Y T N. He was a champ in Dread Factor with a 1.17 KD. Suddenly went up to almost 2 KD this season, but still only an Emerald. Uh, I'm going to guess it either was already cheating, and that's how they got champ, and maybe we're hiding it a bit better, and then this time they're not hiding it at all and just struggling to get to champ. But also, actually, yeah, how do they have a higher KD, but they're more hard stuck Emerald? Because 112 matches, you should be a, a lot closer to champ. With very few losses, so he's not gaining much MMR. Oh, because of the way they like adjusted RP gains, he's already like hard stuck or harder stuck in Emerald, so he's gaining much less RP. Whereas in Dread Factor, he was probably gaining like 10,000 while in champ. Garbage cheater. Next match is Emerald Plains. I thought these matches were going to be a lot more subtle, but we might be just running through them. In this match, we have Kukareku, who is accusing Rio Bolo. I'm afraid... I, I chose this one because I was like, oh, you know, this one might be a bit obvious, but that's okay, because, like, one obvious one here and there is fine. But we've had, like, three obvious ones, so... I don't know what is happening with this... Wait... Why am I still on the drone? He died. Oh, what? That... that was so buggy. It was like, I guess I was in free cam for some reason. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, this replay is so fucking buggy, man. Okay, he actually did push him. Probably cheating. He lined them up through the wall. What am I looking at? This map is broken when it comes to replay. He's probably gonna go push that kitchen window guy. Yeah. He's cheating. Very blatantly. There we go. Whipped grenade. Downed rock. Was he trying to hide his cheats there? That's why he didn't finish the rook right away. Let him get back up so he can nade and then seal the cheats a bit more. I like how he waits for the pulse to shoot him and then tries to shoot back while following him, being like, yeah, I know where you are, but I need a reason to shoot you first. I just realized he lost the first round too. Who wins this? If it's not the cheater. Okay, I was gonna say, if the cheater somehow loses this, he's eight and six. He is blatantly walling, and he's, l like, struggling to go positive. Hi, CC. The fuck? Why is there a gun down here? I, dude, this map is broken. Please do not submit me any Emerald Plains maps. It is so broken. Hi, CC. He doesn't pop off this round, and he just dies, and then going like eight and seven. It'd be very depressing. Huh? 
is is that an attempt to be subtle like there is no way that anyone would die to that and not immediately be like they're cheating like i think they're doing it to try to be sneaky but that is just so blatantly obvious that like you might as well just report them right away like all right let, i like honestly that i or the yana might as well just fucking spin bot you're not hiding it from anyone I think they're trying to still hide it. They're like holding themselves back. DC, shut up. He doesn't know the default cam. Ori is trying to be like, yeah, I don't I don't know where cams are, I'm just fucking running around. Well, let's see if we can find this match. Basically, everyone's using streamer mode, though. I assume all these are streamer mode names, so yeah, none of them have the match, so I don't know what their actual name is, uh, so we can't see. But match number four done, obviously cheating. Match number five, man, this or hacker replay is going by very quickly. I'm pretty sure this next one's also a very obvious one, so we might be done pretty early today. In match number five, we have Hadan1, who's accusing Legacy21 on their own team. Fast forward. I will add in that the notes that came with this match said, this child has cheats. So I assume that he was talking in voice chat and is literally a little kid because they said we don't know how he could afford cheats Just throwing that in there i am going to go on a limb here and said they probably are right that he is cheating huge nade Another huge nade. Okay, he is cheating. He's just staring at them, but he doesn't know what to do. The pre-fire. Oh, Doc just revived the mirror to full HP. Bro, he's not even being subtle. I assume they team kill. I know, or I'm pretty sure that he said that he was in a stack of people. They probably would team kill Legacy for cheating. I would hope so. I guarantee you if I were to upload this on TikTok, there would still be at least one person in the comments who'd be like, why does Varsity just think everyone's cheating? Sometimes people are just better than him and he doesn't accept it. Word for word, that's what one of the comments would say. Guaranteed. Uh, Cheater goes on to lose, because yes, I was right, they all team kill him. And they're out of team kill, so I'm curious how he dies this round. He probably just, yeah, is like gonna run out, be full blatant, but then get overwhelmed and die. Oh, the Doc and Rook are going out there trying to help. Oh, but they're just killing Doc and Rook. Feels bad. What's he lose? He just killed two of them, or downed one, killed one. I'm just gonna kill him with a shotgun from that far away. I see 
Castle's trying to shock him through the floor, but he has reverse friendly fire, so he's just gonna take damage. Oh, they're gonna plant. Oh, Osa. oh no, Osa did get on or finish the plant. He just didn't say anything. How did they lose this? It's a 2v1, or 2v2, sorry, with Diffuser down. The Claymore was right in front of him! That one, obviously, he's throwing, but the Claymore was right in front of him. He ran right into it. That's going to be, if I throw that on TikTok, people are going to be like, see? He clearly isn't cheating. He died to a Claymore. Oh, my God. That was that hurt to watch a little bit. Let me see if I can find the original name. Oh, I found it. Oh, he does have R6 Tracker, but he did not have it open for that match. Fuck. I mean, all this effort, and they're not even running R6 Tracker. Michael Mikey's does not have R6 Tracker. The rest of them are all stern mode names. Okay, I can't find his original name. I want to shame him for being so bad, but unfortunately not. Uh, last match of the day, Chalet. Did I see that right? Was that a champ banner in the background? I might have missed it. Uh, in this match, we have Vodafone, who's accusing SPS. The Thorn. What about a hardware ban? For cheaters, hardware ID bans are also pretty easy to spoof. They're harder than IP bans, but it's still possible. Well, it is sad to say, the best thing that Ubisoft can do to try to prevent cheaters is um, making it annoying and difficult for cheaters to cheat and then uh, banning accounts whenever they can. They need to act faster. Ubisoft's, I think, biggest problem, which I don't know how many of you guys know about this, Ubisoft uh, bans, or like I guess acts uh, reactively instead of proactive. So a lot of their approaches, instead of trying to find ways to prevent people from banning, they'd rather just ban people who are, all right, that's different banning from cheating. Uh, instead of trying to just like prevent them from cheating, they just ban them once they find out they're cheating. So they don't have like stuff in place where it's like, oh, you know, this person's clearly cheating, ban them. They're saying, okay, we got the report, we'll ban them like in a week once we ban everyone. It's just, it's a weird system. If Ubisoft was more proactive, we wouldn't really have this m as much issues. And like I said, as long as they keep making it like more difficult for cheaters to cheat, then it should be fine. Are they doing it? Not really. Doing stuff like making the account having to be a high level in order to play ranked is something that helps because cheaters don't want to spend time ranking up an account, they just want to play ranked. So far SPS does not look like they're cheating by the way. Blackbeard is, but I assume call out from teammate as soon as the teammate died or turned around. Actually, still don't know. Oh, Blackbeard's below. Still just holding random things. Now teammates are pinging on cams. They know where they are. That was a reaction. They didn't actually even expect them to be at the staircase. I don't think SPS is cheating. Isn't the level to do rank 50 at the moment? Yes. Um, I think it honestly should probably go higher. Just because 50 is not that hard to get, and you can actually get it like in a week. It's pretty easy. Um, but I also know that that would really suck for newer players who want to play ranked, and they're like, oh my god, at the grind to level 100? Like, that's so high. The phone number thing is also decent, but... 
I don't know how many of you guys were around when they first tried to implement the two-factor authentication. They were like, okay, you have to add a phone number to play ranked. And then they're like, well, some people don't have phone numbers, so we're actually gonna let you also authenticate or like two-factor authentication your account by using your email, like any email at all. It was so bad. So, so many people can still cheat or at least were able to cheat. I don't know if they can still do that now. I think you have to have a phone number to play ranked. Okay. That's the first time I've ever seen someone run all the way out there just to kill someone on the balcony. Normally it's run out to kill someone in garage. I'm sure he probably heard the ace repel, and that's why they ran around to the metal. Also, it's a good thing that I uh, did the stain dust thing during hacker replay, because my legs are fucking tired already, so... Matches, or we're almost done after this match, and I can sit back down. They just tried to gon six to help get the breach open. You saw it on cam. They didn't shoot default immediately. Did I just miss that? I might have been talking to chat. And not notice that it was visible on cam. I swear he wasn't on cam, but maybe he was. Overall, overall, though, he doesn't really seem like a cheater. I hate this fucking effect, by the way. How everything's blurry because he got shot one time. Reaction died. Maybe they toggle. Who knows? I totally think a lot of super high level players misremember how slow leveling is even early on. See, I've watched and like played with new people who made new accounts and had to level them up, and it never took that long. I think uh, the biggest issue is that the XP is tied to whether you win or lose. If you win, you get 5,000. If you lose, you get much less. So I guess for new players who are genuinely trying to learn the game and losing a lot, they're going to take forever to rank or level up. But if you're like somewhat competent and winning some of your matches, you should level up pretty quickly. But the whole having a higher level thing has also been... You know, like People have been saying that for a while because they're like, when you get a level 50 in your lobby, you know you've just lost because they don't know that much about the game. This game is super, super in-depth. But what better way to learn than to play ranked, right? So, like, limiting their ability to play ranked would kind of suck. It would stop people from learning. That's for sure. Oh, they did hop on cams. Or at least this round. They probably did last round, too. I probably just wasn't paying attention. Shot at nothing. I don't want to skip or rounds because what if they actually do start toggling and we miss the round that they toggle? Looked away as soon as someone went to that window. If I think if you were cheating, you would have stayed looking at that window because someone just approached it. I don't know why they're expecting someone to come through. Solar. Now, now you'd be able to hear them. They lost a gunfight. Oof. Any matches after this? This is the last match, and then we're probably going to go play ranked. It looks like uh, we're going to be playing with Cross, Roy, and Evan. Maybe. I don't know who that is, but someone above is opening holes in the floor to watch the window. Also, I can't tell if this window 
is broken properly or not. He punched it once and it like just got destroyed. But maybe they had accidentally damaged it a lot and so one punch is all it took. Oh yeah, the window's completely broken. That's a pretty common uh, angle to hold onto trophies, so... I don't think it's that suspicious. Oh my god, the shots missed. Already planting. They've lost a teammate again. I assume that barricade's also broken. What happens when I fast forward a little bit? Are these footprints not accurate? Why are they not tracking? Nothing suspicious. What about you have to be level 50 for standard? That way new players can get familiar with rank, but level 100 for rank, you think that can work or nah? Um, I mean, I definitely think standard should be unlocked later than quick play. I don't know if you guys know this. Quick play is unlocked at level 10. Standard is the only game mode you can play right off the bat. Like, the fact that standard is unlocked before quick play is just insane to me. Especially because quick play, the whole point of it is to teach new people how to play, because they have preset reinforcements and stuff. And they're like, yeah, you're going to have to play a lot of standard before you can learn where reinforcements go and stuff. He knows that someone's in Big Garage because the zombie killed a panda bad boy. Even if uh, Zofia didn't make the call, it's not hard to interpret based off the fact that Zofia died over there and it was with that shotgun. None of the mirrors are showing, but I'm pretty sure they're there. I don't really know what his goal is here. He keeps, like, peeking blue and trying to do this. I guess, ah, that worked. The crosshair placement looked incorrect there. It almost looked like he was shooting the pillar and somehow killed Mira. Also, why are the animations like laggy? Maybe he's on a high ping. Like he's throwing flashes and it looks like they're coming out like a second later. Only got, actually, I don't even think he got a kill. Oh no, he did. Like Kaid being down somehow it was his kill even though someone else downed him. Last round, um, so far no suspicions arisen. I think this person is fine, but hey, maybe they toggle on in the last round to lock it in, right? Right? I don't think so. I think skill diff. Only one person on the entire blue team is positive and he's now dead. Because mutes three and four, close but not positive. Vigil zero and four, a, a zombie is one and five, castles one and four. I think it's just a skill diff. And I, I don't remember if this is ranked or not. I think it might be. I swear I saw a diamond banner, so... Based off how the lobby's played out, I'm gonna guess this is just like skill-based matchmaking at its finest. How does he know Vigil's in there? I know Vigil had his gadget on, but... Did he see like the hatch open or what? Oh. Okay, he could just interpret based off the vigil scans that he's in garage, but I feel like that's 50 50 because he could have been, or not even 50 50, he could be in solar, he could be in kitchen, he could be in trophy. 
Buffy just assumes he's in Big Garage, which I guess good call. Maybe, I guess maybe he saw the hatch broken there at the end, because the drone's like right next to the hatch. So maybe that's why. It was kind of hard to tell based off what I saw. It looked like he got off the drone before he would have seen that. But, yeah, the drone's right there. He probably saw it. He actually almost killed the mute there. I mean, he heard the mute sidestep, which is why he like stopped and looked there. I think it was just like a good floor bang. And then he missed the shots there. I think he's fine. Honestly, I didn't see anything that would make me suspicious. Um, their account is gold with a 2kd. I mean, that is high, but it doesn't look like... I don't think they're in the rank they belong in. How much are they winning still? Oh no, they're still... like They're going to go all the way to plat. That lobby did not seem... One sec, let me go back to a previous round. Okay, that's three coppers. I swear I saw a diamond at one point. Did I see that right? Was that a champ banner in the background? I feel like that lobby was very lopsided. Goku Super Saiyan 2. We're gonna look at that guy, because he did the worst, I think. Um, historically has been a copper with a negative KD and now is for some reason in gold. So I feel like... Which, by the way, this guy, how much is he gaining and losing? Four wins, 142. That's 30. He's gaining 35 MMR or RP per win, and he's in gold, whereas the other guy is gaining like 80 and in gold. So the other guy has a hidden MMR of probably like diamond or emerald, and this guy has a hidden MMR of gold. So I feel like it was just a lopsided match. It did not seem fair. Just, I guess, rank 2.0 things. But that is it for today. That's all six matches. We had four very obvious cheaters and then two not cheaters, I think, right? Wait, no. We had six obvious cheaters and then only one person who wasn't cheating. And I'm going to go play ranked now. This is going to go great, guys. I'm not going to see any cheaters, I bet.